Claude Puel, a former defensive midfielder who played almost 500 games for Monaco and then managed the side, has found a new home at Leicester City. Having also managed at Lille, Lyon and Nice, Puel arrived in England in June 2016 to take over at Southampton following Ronald Koeman's sacking. Puel lasted just under a year at the Saints though and was criticised for creating a system that was solid but dull, yielding a league-leading 7-0-0 draws joint with Middlesbrough. Ironically, Puel came to the Premier League with a reputation for fast-paced counter-attacking football built on a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1, with one anchoring midfielder, a box-to-box player and a creative attacking midfielder playing just behind or alongside wingers who cut inside. This seemed like a natural tactical fit for the Southampton squad at the time, but in trying to increase the Saints' defensive solidity, which focused on quick pressing and withdrawing the wide players into a 4-5-1 in the middle and low block, Puel seemed unable to generate the vertical transitions that he wanted. At Leicester City, however, Puel has another squad that seems well equipped to play his counter-attacking style. Leicester, after all, won the Premier League in 2016, with the goals and assists of Jamie Vardy and Riyad Mahrez coming often on the counter, with the deep-lying passing of Danny Drinkwater and the shuttling cover of N'Golo Kante providing a solid base. Those two players have moved on to Chelsea, but in Wilfred and Didi, Leicester have a very able and still developing defensive midfielder, while Vincente Abora provides astute passing and a significant aerial threat going forwards. This works well in Leicester's preferred 4-4-1-1 formation. Leicester are built on pace, with adventurous fullbacks Christian Fuchs and Danny Simpson and wingers like Damari Gray, Michael Brighton and, of course, Mares. They play with width, looking to rake long diagonal balls out wide, for which Abora is important because he acts as the pivot in the midfield through which the play is switched. Mares can play out wide, or, as in recent games, just off of Vardy. He offers something different to Shinji Okazaki, who has also played behind Vardy, while both have license to find space in the channels and provide a link between the midfield and the striker, Okazaki tends to hold onto the ball and lay it off to the wide players cutting inside, which works well when Mares plays on the right, while Mares tends to carry the ball himself. Leicester's aim is always to create overloads in wide spaces at pace before bringing the ball back inside to create shooting opportunities. As such, they sometimes concentrate on one side of the pitch, with the central midfielders playing shifted across towards one side, with the aim of creating space on the opposite flank. This means they have an overload on one flank and space on the other, both of which can afford attacking opportunities, especially on the counter. Defensively, Leicester press less than Puel's Saints, but with the addition of Harry Maguire, the Foxes now have more pace in their back line. This means that the midfield can afford to push up more, with Ndidi sweeping back behind a line of four to screen the centre-backs. Once Ndidi or the defensive line have won the ball back, it is quickly shifted wide or to Ibora, who then looks to thread a through ball to Vardy or whoever is playing off him, or to switch the play into space on the wings. It's a relatively simple tactical setup that works well with the personnel that Leicester have at their disposal, and it's a system that Puel is comfortable with too. In short, while Puel may have disappointed at Southampton, he has the tools and the philosophy to get the Foxes back on track playing simple but effective counter-attacking football. People often ask us where we get our stats for these videos. Uh, A great place to start is the OneFootball app. The app offers a fairly comprehensive statistical coverage of teams and players in-game and post-match. So there's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching.